Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading. This is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot. I hope you're all well. Let's see what we have for the day. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you and it will be for all signs. Okay, what do we have for the day, please, angels, spirits, guides? We have closure. Happiness. You can see the butterfly. We have transformation. I feel like I need to pull one more. Truth. Let's pull an angel answer card. I've got them on the table. So let's see what we have for the day. What do we have, please, angels? Okay, we have within the next few weeks. Wow. Abundance. Abundance is when we don't feel lack, when we feel that sense of bounty, whether it's money, career, finances, or an experience in terms of relationships of any kind. I've got trust beneath that. Okay, let's make some space. All right, what do we have, please, angel spirits, guides? What do people need to hear for the day? Daily tarot reading for all signs. Energies to come, thank you. Energies to come. We have the hanged man. Hanged man is actually quite a still energy. Let's see what that's to do with. Three of wands. Justice. The lovers. We have the death card which is closure. This will be an ending. We have the Four of Wands. Seven of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords. This is either about the relationship or something that affects the relationship. It can also be partnerships of other kinds, the lovers. Uh, it can be about unions um, of any kind. It's generally quite a powerful union, but this can be when you're at some kind of crossroads. I think this situation is to do with a partnership of some kind. Or again, it could be something that affects that. It feels more like a partnership. Let's see what we have for the hanged man. Hanged man energy, what do we have? The Ace of Cups. Temperance. This is an offer to heal. Can we find some way to make it work? I think that this is about someone is kind of like in a reflective state, not saying yes, not saying no, but it, it feels there's been some, there's some kind of deception that's come to light here. The Seven of Swords, there's levels to this, the Seven of Swords, but it's enough for an ending to be at play here. 
The Seven of Swords can be about deception, betrayal, lies, stealing, keeping secrets, acting covertly. It's a deceptive energy. Page of Swords is something coming to light that brings uh, a relationship, you know, to some kind of crossroads. So it's likely... It just feels about a relationship of some kind. As a business partnership, it would be the same thing, doing something secretly or not telling you about something and that coming to light that, that questions the actual business partnership. So if someone acting in a secret manner, not telling you everything that they're doing or up to, they're concealing things from you and that's never healthy. Justice, um, the Three of Wands and the Death card. You don't know whether to end something and turn your back. This is the energy here. Justice is about actions have consequences. Yeah, and it, it feels this is this is where that's at play here could be affecting the home the family the relationship it could also be you might be coming to a conclusion knowing what the right thing to do is something coming to light on someone's deceptive behavior and again it could well be you're being supported by family as well with the four of wands Yeah, I, I feel somebody is wanting to reconcile or smooth things over with you. I mean, that's temperance and the hanged man and the ace of cups. It is a, it is a card of, of somebody wanting to find a way to heal and open up to emotional renewal and rebirth with a, a promising to treat you as you deserve. Again, the abundance energy. I mean, that will be in terms of, a, again, a business thing or whether it's to do with, again, a relationship somebody is offering love and wanting to start and generally when we're in business partnerships we ha we generally have a strong bond with that person it's the same energy so this is the energy wanting emotional renewal and rebirth with you but again the hangman is sometimes we kind of like wait for things to play out we don't come down on one side you might not be ready to uh, bring closure to a situation because you've not made up your mind either way. It might well be you need to find out more information. You might want to let things play out a little bit longer. And sometimes I, I always say the hanged man is the wisest energy of all. Because we just let things kind of like play out. And sooner or later we will get that epiphany moment on what to do. But sometimes we just have to surrender and be open. And one of two things will happen. You're glad you did because there is an opportunity to, to heal and embrace a new path where you are feeling more abundant in your experience in terms of love romance or in your experience of making a business partnership work. Sometimes we go through these kind of challenges and difficulties and that can actually make us stronger, you know, when we embrace renewal with that person. So this can be that kind of energy of deep transformation is available to you either way in this energy. But sometimes we kind of let things play out. This person goes and does something, you know, uh, again, that upsets you. And that's your answer. You get the answer by actually doing nothing. You just let things play out. So sometimes the wisest thing to do is nothing. Because you put the onus on the person who is who's done something wrong to you to prove that they can make it right, justice. Uh, to prove that they're taking accountability of their actions and they ha you're giving them an opportunity to, to make it right. But remember, there is that, always that justice energy. Actions always have consequences, certainly when the hangman's at play as well, because it's a period of time that you allow someone to prove either things can be made right and you're stronger for it, or for others of you, just when, you know, we kind of temper metal, you know, it becomes stronger for that experience. But for others of you, it can actually be, you know, when somebody goes and messes up again, and that will be your answer. Either way, you will get that epiphany moment, the truth of the situation, that will make your mind up, will bring closure to a situation either way, in terms of whether you stay with this person and move on from whatever's happened, or or move in a different direction. The same message applies. Uh, 
Okay, final message for the day. Thank you. Final message for the day. Yeah, we have owl sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. I like that energy. And that's why we you can't control it. You don't know what's going to happen. You might not be ready to walk away right now, you know, for whatever reason. You might want to let things play out a little bit longer. And this is the energy here of... of Sometimes things, you know, if you if you don't feel that you're ready to make some kind of decision, the message will be wait, don't do anything, the answer will come in its own good time. Spirit will illuminate. All right, that's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed the reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.